this session on Excel, I'm going to demonstrate how to use data filtering and sorting. Let's assume that we have this data and now we want to sort this data. So let's say we want to sort the data by date here. And it actually seems like it's sorted by date already. So let's sort it by product. So all you have to do to sort it by a specific field here is click anywhere in that column or in that field that you want to sort by and then you click on sort under the home tab and then choose sort A to Z or the other way around so that would be alphabetically basically and now notice everything has been sorted alphabetically if I wanted to sort a different way let's say now by date because notice it has been changed you click here on sort A through Z and you could start with the oldest to the newest or however your preference is and notice now the data has been sorted again so again it's very easy select the column where that you want to sort by and then you just go and sort and filter or you can simply right click and choose here under sort a through z so and that's another tip and another concept and especially if you're using windows to right click on components and see what options are available so now i sorted by region so now let's learn about filtering data in excel another powerful feature that you can utilize in excel is the filtering of the data so let's say we want to see only the sales for the east section or the east region let's say we don't want to any of the other data to, to filter by a specific region we have to do two things first we have to enable filtering and then we have to choose the criteria for that filtering so how do we enable filtering very simple is by simply going here under sort and filter and then click on filter notice as soon as you click on filter now you have this drop down arrows here under each heading for your data in this case all you have to do is pick the region or pick the filter that you want to apply so let's say we want it only the east region so we click on the drop down and then we unselect everything else and we choose only the eastern region click ok it has applied it has hidden basically it filtered out all the other regions except for the eastern region now let's say that i wanted to have the eastern region but i want to see by a specific salesman so let's say i want only franks so i click on the drop down and i unselect everything else and i choose only franks and now i have two filters applied and you know which ones have been filtered by the application by the icon here so the idea here is that, that you can filter something by using multiple components for your filtering or multiple filters to unfilter something here so let's say i don't want frank so i want to add more salespeople. i can choose whatever i want click ok and now it's filtered again two filters region plus salesperson to remove the filter you can click on the filter icon then click on clear filter from sales rep and then that has been removed to remove the next filter going to drop down clear filter from region another way to filter is or just like sorting right click choose filter and then you have the option here to filter by a selected value so let's say I wanted to see the product sunshine let's say right click choose filter and now I have only the filter for that specific cell that I had selected clear the filter you just right click as well another thing that you can do is you can also filter by a specific criteria and let's say in these values let's say we want to see only the sales or items higher than a thousand dollars notice we don't have any other filters at this point but we are going to do the filter only by the sales a thousand dollars or higher we click here on the drop down and you can also filter by other criteria like number filters and it says equal or greater than or between or top 10 or below average and so on so you're basically you could have a spreadsheet with 200,000 records and you want to display only your top 10 percent 
customers you can utilize that by ap applying one of those filters so in this case we want greater than and we'll say greater than a thousand and then click OK and notice here are the values greater than a thousand if you wanted to sort this of course you can right click choose sort smaller to largest and now notice 1026 1058 and all that type of stuff so it's a very powerful function very easy to use I guess if you know which button to click but hopefully it helps it's one of those things by the way that it's very commonly used in the business world Thank you.